Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. I'm in my garage. So I have a fridge there and I have a fridge there. And in this fridge, majority of this is all for the worms. I gave away as much as I could and the rest of this I'm gonna process for the worms. So this whole entire fridge <laughs> is pretty much dedicated to them at this point. I think I even have stuff in the freezer. Well, I got a couple of things in here for them. But the majority of the stuff is in the other fridge. So, you know, that one over there, that one actually needs to be repaired. I think they're coming next week to do that one. And I have another Samsung to repair. Now let's go check out the other ones. Now this is pretty much the refrigerator and freezer room. <laughs> this one here is gonna get repaired next week as well um i think in this big freezer i think i even have yeah frozen apples and stuff in here for them bananas i got a few things in here for them some frozen grapes yeah i've just been stuffing things everywhere but this one down here let's see you even got a little freezer back here too this fridge right here got a bunch of apples in there that watermelon i'm sure a whole half of that is gonna end up going to the worms i got squash zucchini eggplant more apples cucumbers um i got a lot of worm food to process i think i even have a bunch of apples down here too so you know i say all this to say <clears throat> There is a YouTuber. Her name is Jane from Rockin' Worms. She gave me the bright idea of using a dehydrator to process some of the veggies. And she put some on these mats. I ordered extra ones from Amazon. So I can load this thing all the way up, every rack. I think it's probably 10 or 13 racks in here. So I'm about to do an unboxing of some veggie powder and some worm chowder that I got from her. I'll be right out, right by, I'll be right back. On top of all that stuff that I just shown, I got these two bags. I gave away some of it. <laughs> but I got two whole bags of carrots. So I promise you by the time I get done processing all of this and dehydrate and freeze the worms are going to be good for a while because that's a heck of a lot of food. And this is why I had to grow my herd even bigger because I do get a lot of stuff to process and I like to, you know, be able to handle it all. So I will continuously um, do that. Now let's move on over to the unboxing. So since I draw some inspiration from some of these creators, you know, I like to find ways to support them and... In this case, um, I saw the gardening worm lady had put her worm chow um, back on her site. So, you know, I sprung to get some and I remembered that Jane sells the veggie powder, which is where I got the inspiration and which is why I got that dehydrator. So I'm going to be experimenting making my own. So, you know, I figured I would show Jane some love. Jane from Rockin' Worms. And so I ordered, you know, a bit of her veggie powder and her grains and greens um, worm chow. You know, I like to spoil my worms and feed them a nice variety. So, you know, I mix up my own worm chow. But what's better than, you know, supporting your creator and blending in a little bit of their creation along with mine. So I use these little shakers to sprinkle my worm chow. So whenever I get worm chow from others, I mix my own and then I add some of theirs to it. And you know, that adds a bit more variety, you know, for the worms because variety is good for worms and for us too, you know, which is why I'm raising worms anyway. So I can grow a variety of foods, you know, that I'm in control of. You know, foods that I know the whole entire process, you know, from germination all the way up to 
putting it in my belly. So let's see what she got for me here. First thing I see is some free bedding. You know, anytime I get a box, the first thing that comes to mind is, oh yeah, that's getting shredded to be eaten by the worms. So <laughs> she seemed to have shipped it in. This little cute container here. So this right here is the veggie powder, if I'm not mistaken. I see the greens and stuff in there. Let's actually take this other one out. Even this brown paper bag, that's better too. This has to be the worm chowder greens and greens. Oh, looky there. Now, this really is going to add some variety. So the monkey is actually the veggie powder. Just think about it. And me, the bear is the that. worm chow, the grains and greens. So you have a combination of that plus this. That just looks healthy. <laughs> I mean, really and truly, that just looks healthy. And I can't wait to experiment and make me some of this. And hopefully I'm not messing this up. But I think this one is the worm. Yeah. I think this one is the worm chow. Grains and greens. And this right here is the veggie powder. And so I have a nice amount, you know, that I'll be able to add a little bit to my sprinklers. And, you know, give my worms a treat. Because worm chow, obviously, is not all I feed them. But if you think about it, you know, if you have a nice mix of different grains and everything, then, I mean, all the better for the worms, you know. And I try not to do too much corn. But if I have expired cornmeal or anything in the house or cornmeal that's been donated, of course, I'm going to mix a little bit in. And what I do... You know, I do upcycle my containers as well. So if I have expired flour and cornmeal and oatmeal, then guess what? I mix it all in here and I would normally go like 60% this stuff and then 40% of what I make. <clears throat> and what I use... I have my little coffee grinder here. This is what I use to blend up my worm chow. And it holds a pretty decent amount. And I can put rice and everything in here. Eggshells. It really grinds up everything. And it's been working great. <clears throat> so while I'm on that subject, <clears throat> I didn't do an unboxing from the garden and worm lady. But her worm child came in this little pouch. And when I first saw it, I was like, wait a minute. Did she actually send me some worms? <laughs> but nope, this is her worm child. And she has her own blend. So I know when I mix some of this in, my worms are getting variety. You know, I mean, even if I only had this and these two, it would be awesome. But... I have a nice mix of a lot of different greens and um, chicken crumble and rabbit feed. I mean, it's amazing. As a matter of fact, let me get a scoop of what my mix looks like. So this is what I would actually put in my coffee grinder. And you see rabbit pellet in there. You have layer feed in there. We have another one that has black soldier fly larva in it. So I do have some good stuff that I mix. So if you think about all of this together, 
these worms are spoiled, you know. <laughs> I make the joke that they eat better than me, but look at this variety they're going to be getting. They're spoiled, you know. So, I have a few bins to check in on. So, that's the next thing that's getting done. Um, I have some neglected bulk bins. So, that's pretty much what's coming up next. I'm going to feed uh, some of this to the... Um, The new baby worms that's hatching because I got a bunch of cocoons. So I'm about to have a lot more worms. Um, with all the cocoons, it's probably going to be about a good maybe 15 pounds of worms by the time they grow up. So, you know, they get to enjoy all this goodness because the babies, they get more worm child than anything else. Now, I know the baby worms, the wisps, they do love watermelon. So that watermelon, I'm going to cut it up. Whatever is good, I'm going to make sure <laughs> to put it in a container for my son because he's been asking about that. So that watermelon going to be shared between, between him <laughs> and others, of course. But yeah, they're all going to enjoy this together. So I guess I'll end this video here and, you know, stay tuned. Um, I might even do my own worm child video, you know, just to show you how I make my own, but the check-in videos, I think it's going to be next, um, and how I make my new bins. Yes. How I make my new bins. So those videos are coming up next. So, you know, if you like that kind of content, definitely subscribe. I do experiment. I try a lot of different ideas. So, you know, if you like that kind of thing, go ahead and subscribe. Until next time, bye-bye.